Hi there and welcome to IGCSE Maths Tutors. In today's video I'm going to show you some concepts and rules that relate to algebra and brackets. If we have two brackets that we would like to multiply, just like these ones, a plus b multiplied by c plus d, what we do is that we multiply the first element in the first bracket by the two elements in the second bracket. Similarly, we also multiply the second element of the first bracket by the two elements of the second bracket. And therefore, the answer to this multiplication is ac plus ad plus bc plus bd. There is a special case here if we have a plus b all squared, which means that we multiply a plus b multiplied by a plus b. So if we do the same thing and we multiply the first element in the first bracket by the two elements of the second bracket, we will end up with a squared plus a b and then multiplying the second element of the first bracket by the two elements in the second bracket, we have another a b, so it becomes 2 a b plus b squared. So this is the rule for squaring a bracket. It's a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. If the squared bracket has a subtraction, such as this one, a minus b all squared, we do the same thing and we end up with a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Keeping these concepts in mind, we'll now try to tackle an IGCSE exam question. It says, show that a squared plus 1 multiplied by c squared plus 1 equals ac minus 1 1 all squared plus a plus c all squared. We'll take one side of the equation at a time. First, we'll try and expand these two brackets highlighted in red just like we did over here. So this becomes a squared c squared plus a squared multiplied by 1 is a squared plus 1 multiplied by c squared is simply c squared and 1 multiplied by 1 is 1. We turn now to the other side of the equation highlighted in green and here the first bracket is a minus 1 all squared. We will use the, this concept over here. So this becomes a squared c squared minus 2 to ac plus 1 since the rule says that the first element should be squared minus double the product of both elements inside the bracket plus the square of the second element. This expansion is added to the square of this bracket in which we will use this rule over here where we will square the first element and add to it double the product of both elements inside the bracket and finally add the square of of the last element. So it becomes a squared plus 2ac plus c squared just as we did over here. Now minus 2ac plus 2ac cancel out and we will simply be left with a squared c squared plus a squared plus c squared plus 1 and this is the same as the result of the expansion that we did for this or for these brackets highlighted in red and therefore we have proven that those two sides of the equation are equal. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. If you still have questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments section. And as usual, I'll see you again in the next video. Goodbye for now.